Hey, what's up? It's Joe back with a Vim video. Um, I'm just going to talk about some stuff I use with Vim that saves me a lot of time, makes my development process so much quicker. I started using Vim about seven to eight months ago. And what I've noticed is I've got way better with coding. My quality in the code has went up um, I'm faster. Like, I just feel like it's just winning all across the board. I'm doing things in an editor that I could, ne that I could never do before when I didn't use Vim. So... I just want to talk about it and if you're liking the video so far um, you can go ahead and subscribe and click the notification so you can get notifications about whenever I'm you know posting new stuff I plan on doing this on a consistent basis because I'm actually learning a lot of stuff by actually making these videos because it's making me learn more so what are we going to talk about we're going to talk about verbs modifiers and nouns verbs some of the verbs visual change delete yank uppercase lowercase indent some of the modifiers, inside, find, around, and till. Some of the nouns, word, paragraph, block, parenthesis, tags, and quotes. Um, we're going to use markers to yank, delete, and change, and then do a little macro stuff. I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. Let's see if I can make it happen, okay? So with these, you can actually mix and match um, the verbs, the modifiers, and nouns. Um, normally, when you see a word, the first letter of that word is the command. Um, it doesn't happen all the time like that, but most of the time which makes it to the point where you start to pretty much as they say think in them so you just like stuff come to your head and you try it and it works like oh wow i didn't even know that could work so okay so let's say you wanted to do viw which would be visual insight word that just selects that word right um if i do v i capital w it selects the entire word okay so let's say I wanted to, oh, and I don't have to be at the beginning of the line or the end of the line. I can kind of be wherever I want in the word. Say I wanted to delete till um, eight. So I delete it up to the letter eight. As you can see, I can do something like this to make it more noticeable. Okay. So what I want to do is say from here, I want to, so I'm going to start, is there's three ones right here. So I'm going to delete three ones up until the, up to the letter A. Delete till A. So three of those ones just disappear. Now if I said delete FA, it includes the letter A. Okay, so the difference, F is fine and includes it. T is up till. Um, with that being said, you can kind of build on top of that and say, okay, I'm in this code over here. And let's say I want to delete everything inside the brackets. D I B. Um, oh, sorry, in the wrong file. D I bracket. Okay, so delete everything. I can do D A bracket to include the brackets. Go back. Um, let's say I wanted to say I want to change everything inside this parenthesis. C I parenthesis. Okay. Say I wanted to go into insert mode with the change and change everything including a parenthesis oops ah. so now it includes a parenthesis and I'm in insert mode I can start typing go back to normal mode okay so now with that being said so you want to get more fancy and start using markers to do some of this stuff so let's say for instance I have a marker and I'm gonna call my marker you set a marker with the letter M the lowercase m and then whatever letter you want the marker to be so in my case i want this marker to be f so i just set a marker at f so basically it mean i can go anywhere down the file so i'm down here now and so i want to get back to the interface item props which was where i put that marker i can do single quote f so i don't have to remember where i was so just do single quote f and i marked it Okay, so say for instance you're here and you're going through a file and you're looking at stuff and you're like, oh man, you know what? I don't really want any of this code up to that marker. I can say delete, I'm sorry, D, single quote, F. Just delete everything up to that marker. I can also say I'm here and I want to change, so I want to go into insert mode. So change, single quote, F. So now I'm in insert mode. So you can start mixing and matching stuff and you can do delete. So there's just so many things you can do just to make your life like easier and I'm not even like really going through like all of the stuff I do I do way more but I just feel like touching on some of those some of those topics um because I feel like they're pretty good and it saves me a bunch of time and last but not least let's just talk about some macros because 
my clothes are cool and the reason being is because you can do so much and macros are meant so that you can write a command and then you can save it like save it save that macro and then you can go back and use that to do something later so it like it just it's just let me just show you how about that so say for instance i wanted to get something in the form of constant this equals require like something like that right so basically I want to take all of these and change them into that format so what I'll do first is I'll go ahead and did that clear up the screen I'll go ahead and um, set my marker so set a marker is Q and I want to put that W that starts the recording and then Q again to stop got it Q W Q so I'm going to get ready to create a macro, Q, and then do W, so now it's recording. If you see right here, it's recording that W. And then what I wanna do first is go to the beginning of this line. So shift six, it takes me to the beginning of the line. Um, and I want to change inside word to const. I'm gonna go back into normal mode, which I have mapped to JK, which will be escape if you don't have it mapped, or you may have it mapped to something else. So what I need to do is go to from, right? I need to get to from. So I'm gonna look for from. So I'm gonna do a search. So that's the forward slash F-O-M for from, because that's what I'm looking for. Now that I've found it, I'm gonna do enter. I'm gonna say I want to change up to that single quote, CT single quote, okay? So now I want to put in equals, because I'm in insert mode, I can type require, and then do open parenthesis go back to normal mode which will be escape for some I have it mapped to JK I'm gonna look for um, this character okay and I got there was doing the F and then um, uh, what can I think of that symbol right now but yeah that symbol and then go into insert mode and then do another parenthesis and then go back to normal mode which for me is JK and then go down one line and then what in my recording so what I've just done is built a recording so now I can say let's say let's give it six at W I, had, I did too many that's why I added an extra const but as you can see I literally just went in and did all of that um, this is just pretty it's correct code it's just saying that I could I it's pretty much just letting me know right now that I can use this as an import which is what it was before and if you want to see the commands that you just wrote out I that was saved in register W right so what I can say is do the double quotes because it lets me know I want to deal with a register so double quotes W and then P so these are all the characters that I just did if you look this is everything I did I went to the beginning of the line, I did CIW to change the word, I put in const, then I went back into normal mode, then I searched for from, and then I hit enter, and then I did, I change up to that single quote, then I typed, which put me in insert mode, so I typed in equal space require, and then I also typed in a parenthesis, then I put in, went, went back to normal mode, and then searched for this, and then went back into insert mode, put in the parenthesis, and then went back into normal mode and then went down the line okay so that's how you could do that and let's say you want to go back let's say you want to have a, um, a macro that went backwards and also with these macros you can actually save these to mappings so you can create something like this and then map it to a shortcut where you can do it all the time just something you can think about so let's say for instance I want to do it with import right so I can say um, I wanted to go back to import import list what would be from yeah. so I want to go back to this kind of style so if I was doing a macro with this time I'm just going to record it in queue so I just cleared queue just did queue 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 to make sure that it was clear so I'm going to say queue 
and then I'm recording that cue. So again, I'm going to do Shift 6 to get there, then CIW, import, and then go into normal mode and find the equal sign. We're going to change up till the single quote, and then do from, and then go back to normal mode, and then find the parenthesis, and then X, and then go down one line, and then start my recording. Let's say five at Q. I included that one by mistake. But as you can see, like you just do so much with it. And if you wanna see what that looks like, if I wanted to print it out, I can do double quote Q P. So that's the command for converting from require to import. And then we also have the command double quote um wait, sorry. Double quote WP, which was the command to convert from import to require. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have for the um, this um little video and you know hopefully hopefully you learned something and i'll see you next time until then peace out